Hey guys, welcome back to Making Magical Adventures. In today's video, the holidays have finally hit Disney California Adventure Park. We're gonna try some yummy food, meet some awesome characters, see some beautiful decorations, and much more. So stay tuned. Before we get started with today's video, guys, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. So let's get started. So upon entering Disney California Adventure, the first thing you want to do is pick yourself up a guide map here. Now if you didn't know, California Adventure is geared more towards the festival of holidays, which is awesome because it incorporates all the seasonal things that, you know, people across the globe get to celebrate. And they have yummy foods and drinks as well. So make sure you pick yourself up a guide map and it'll show you where all the booths are at, all the interactive things you can see, and just all the things you can do for this holiday season. While you're walking down Buena Vista Street, make sure you take some time to just look at the little window displays. They're absolutely cute. I think this one might be my top favorite. It's Santa checking over his naughty and nice list. Doesn't say which one it is, but Henry's name is actually on there. So a big thing for the holidays here at Buena Vista Street inside Disney California Adventure Park is to check out all of the decorations. There is so much happening, a lot of hidden Mickeys. It is beautiful this time of year, especially during the day. At night, it looks so much better. But again, if you're here on Buena Vista Street during the day, just take a look around. You never know what you might find. So something cool that we just saw right here at Mortimer's Market on Buena Vista Street, they have the Christmas tree dinner roll bread that you can find inside of Pacific Wharf area. So if you don't have any luck finding it there, come take a look here, they might have it. Also here at Mortimer's Market, we see that they have the Christmas tree zipper. And I know this is something we had our eyes on. It's absolutely beautiful. And I love the little Disney details that they have with the characters as ornament on the tree. If we are trying to avoid some of those longer lines, definitely come here to Mortimer's Market on Buena Vista Street. So we're walking down Buena Vista Street and I smelled something delicious. It's right here at Trolley Tree. You can see some of the cast members actually making some of the Rice Krispie treats and some of the little cake pops that they offer. So you never know what you're going to see when you're walking down Buena Vista Street. So alongside Buena Vista Street, we have Goofy right here. You can find many of the characters alongside the walls here dressed in their little holiday costumes I guess you would say and they look so so cheerful and very cute so just as I said over in our Disneyland video a great place to come shopping here on Buena Vista Street is Elias & Co they have a lot of great pieces of merchandise that you can find throughout the resort here as well so you can get some of your holiday shopping while you're on DCA side so when you make your way to the end of Buena Vista Street you can hear the band playing some Christmas classic. It just makes me so, so happy. I love all the classic songs and it sounds so beautiful. You can also see some of the characters dancing along. It's so, so cute. We love you guys. All right, we're at the end of Buena Vista Street. Off to the left-hand side is the big Christmas tree and it's so, so beautiful. I think I absolutely love this one just because they have the little trolley cart as an ornament alongside the tree. And if you look around and really pay attention, you can find some fun, familiar faces in there. So make sure you get yourself a picture with the cast member with the photo ops. All right, guys, we just got to do a fun photo op and I cannot for the life of me remember the character's name. If you guys could please help me down in the comments below the older Walt Disney cartoons. It's something I grew up with, but I just, again, I can't remember the character's name. They were so, so cute, very interactive. Rilani absolutely loved the little bird and it was fun, it was a good time. So one thing we wanna point out here in Grizzly Peak are these really cool trees. They look even better at night, but if you see up here, they have like little lanterns and just some other garland with some pine cones. Looks really cool. So if you guys wanna see something fun and jolly for the season, come here, right here next to Soren and check out these cool trees. So in one more thing that Nicole pointed out, if you look up inside of the Grizzly Peak area, you can actually find some really cool things. This one is Santa Claus's hat. It's definitely something I wouldn't have seen had she not pointed it out. So again, if you're out here, definitely look up. So Doug, we haven't seen you since Pixar night and we've missed you tons. We miss and we you. miss Russell too, so maybe we can catch him next time. We met Carl though. <laughs> so it's great to see you, thank you. <laughs> Take care, Doug. Bye, Doug. So we finally got a chance to meet some of the up characters. Yesterday we actually met Carl, today we met Doug, and Russell unfortunately didn't make his way over. I guess he was working on some new patches, but it's a really fun photo op if you guys are here in Disney California Adventure. You can find him right in Grizzly Peak, and definitely this is one you do not want to miss. The last time we saw them was at Pixar night, but it was such a fun time, and I'm glad Disney finally brought these characters back 
They are very rare. So again, if you're coming for the holidays here at Disney California Adventure, do not miss this. All right, let's go check out Cars Land and see what holiday festivities they have, so come along. Right behind me is the welcome sign to Cars Land, and every holiday season, they always do an awesome changeover. They have a snowman car that's absolutely adorable. Make sure you grab your pictures here, and it looks even better at night. From the ice cream cone, we have the new peppermint ice cream that they have for the holiday season. Raylani has been loving it and digging into it. It usually comes in an actual ice cream cone and it looks much more beautiful, but it's actually really hot today. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick little taste. Slightly minty, but it's not like toothpaste. It's actually really delicious. I would give this a 10 out of 10 and highly recommend it. From the chili con queso, we have the Luigi chicken pesto here, and it comes with some bruschetta tomatoes and Parmesan cheese, and she's loving it. Here you go. Very delicious, nice and creamy, and the tomatoes complement this very, very well. I highly, highly recommend this. I give this a 10 out of 10. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try out the Luigi's pesto. It actually does look really good. Like Nicole said, these lines took forever today, so I would highly recommend mobile ordering, but again, try and do it when you might not see a lot of people over here because it can take a minute, but let's go ahead and dive right in. Wow, this is really, really good. So it's really creamy. The pesto sauce is absolutely fantastic. I normally don't like Alfredo or kind of pesto really in general, but this is actually really good and I definitely would highly recommend this. I would probably say it's like an eight for me not liking too much of like Alfredo or pesto. It's actually really good. And I can see that this would probably taste really good first thing once it's really warm. So if you guys want a quick snack, get this bad boy. From the popcorn, we have the Esquitas corn fritter. That's kind of a tongue twister say. I'm gonna go ahead and go in for a bite. They're very chewy. Um, you do get the sweetness from the corn. These would have been better nice and hot. It did take a while to pick up, but I would definitely give this another try. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the Esquites corn fritter. This is really good. So like Nicole said, this is actually really cold right now. Again, the lines were just really long, so I would assume that this would probably taste really good when it's nice and warm and crispy. I love like the pico de gallo and the queso they put on top. It's really delicious. I feel like this would be even better if you kind of put a little bit of lime on top. It would kind of like make this thing smack a little bit more. Never had something like this, but I do think it's really good. It's nice and sweet. So I would recommend this to all of you guys to try out. It's actually really delicious and it's here just for the holidays, so make sure you add this one to your list. All right, at the little town hall right behind me in Radiator Springs, you can find some really cute decorations. Stanley looks awesome as always, and they have a beautiful Christmas tree display. So just make sure if there is a photo op cast member to make sure you get your pictures taken. We're right here by Luigi's Ride and it is now called Joy to the World, like whirling around. And it's really cute because they do have some holiday songs that they did for the turnover. And look at the beautiful festivities that we just have to point out. We did get confirmation that those lights are from Bugs Land. So it's a cute little tribute to this glorious little ride. All right, if you haven't guessed who my cute co-host is, now you know who it is. It's Mater's Jingle Jamboree. It's my absolute favorite ride in DCA, and they do a Christmas turnover, and they're playing some awesome jingle bells or Christmas songs while you're spinning around. It just makes it that much more fun. Make sure you come and check out Mater's Jingle Jamboree. In front of Mater's Jamboree, there's also this really cool Christmas tree. It's probably one of my favorites here for Disney California Adventure during the holidays. It looks really cool. If you also just kind of look around, you might see some cool things, different references, and just some really fun and creative things that Disney Imagineers and cast members put together. So just keep your eyes peeled. You might see something you like. We're gonna be trying something special that is here at the Festival of Holidays. So we quickly, we just wanna give a shout out to Kayla's Cakes for inviting us to come and try some of their holiday macarons that they have offered at the Festival of Holidays. And we're gonna be trying them out for you. So make sure you go ahead and give them a follow and let's get to tasting. So I am so excited for this first macaron. Look at this, it's so beautiful. Look at the packaging, the chocolate shavings. So this is the Kayla Cake S'mores Macaron. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip it off here. Oh, it smells so good. And it looks like it has little crispy wafers with some chocolate shavings. First bite. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be hard. I started with the best one, I feel like. <laughs> that chocolate got a little everywhere, but that's okay. It was absolutely heavenly and worth it. 
I think this might be my favorite one and it's only the first one. So that gives me high hopes for the rest of them. Okay, so another fan favorite and one of the cast members, they absolutely love this one. This is the double vanilla first bite. Ooh, yeah. This is really, really good. I like how the flavors are really subtle. Um, you definitely get those hints of vanilla. It's not overly done like I feel like with a lot of macarons I've had in the past. I feel like the cream's just perfect. The texture of the um, outside breading or cookie or whatever it is is really good. And this is perfect, very subtle. I would highly recommend it too. Like the cast member said, this is really delicious. So if you get anything, make sure you get at least the vanilla one. This is the creme brulee macaron. This is what was recommended by the cast members here. They said this is the number one seller. So let's take our first bite. It smells really good and toasty. Wow. All those flavors, oh my gosh, this is so good. It's very soft, very buttery. It tastes like I'm eating caramel corn. I can see why this is their number one seller. I would highly recommend you try the creme brulee macaron for your very first one. All right, we're gonna start off with the Abuelita hot chocolate one. It smells really good. I can smell hints of cinnamon, first bite. Ooh, it's very, very tasty. It tastes like almost like like a big red gum, the hints of cinnamon that it has. This is really delicious. Ooh, the chocolate just came off. I would definitely rate this a nine out of 10. And last of the holiday ones is the peppermint macaron. I like that it looks like kind of like chocolate and pepperminty. So here's our first bite. Wow. That's really delicious. It tastes like a peppermint hot cocoa, just like melting in your mouth. Again, they do a phenomenal job with the texture of this, with the level of sweetness. It's not overdone at all. So please, please make sure you come and check out Kayla's Cakes. So last, I'm gonna try the Abuelita Chocolate, right? Is that or Mexican chocolate. Mexican hot chocolate, so let's do this. Ooh. That's good. Oh look, she wants some. She wants Oh, so she approves. No, this is really good. Again, the flavors with these macarons, I love that they're not totally overly sweet. This one tastes really good. I really do feel like it tastes like that Abuelita hot chocolate. Um, really delicious. I like how the filling is nice and cold. It is delicious, and Raylani likes it, of course, so I think that's a win. All right, so all of these flavors are absolutely delicious. Stay tuned for our upcoming vlog where we try more of these flavors. We want to give a huge shout out to Kayla's Cakes for inviting us to try all of their macarons, they are delicious. They're delicious. And if you guys want, and if you're not coming inside, you can actually find them in downtown Disney. They also have their booth located here across from the Pacific Wharf. It is delicious. I really like these things. They're absolutely amazing. So again, I'll leave all their information down below and you guys can take a look at them. Make sure you guys, if you're coming here for festival holidays or just visiting Disneyland Resort in general, make sure you stop on by and pick yourself up a macaron. All right, we're right here next to Grizzly River Run, and I absolutely love this big guy right behind me. Every holiday season, or for the most part, I feel like they're always changing his little design or his costume, and he just goes really festive in this area. It's just so, so cute, and you can actually plant yourself right there and get a photo with him. All right, we're right in front of Russian Rivers, and I just gotta point out, these little guys in front of the store are so, so cute with their little ugly sweaters but they're actually really cute. I wish they would sell these because I would definitely wear that. Hello, Santa. Come on over. Who do we have here? This is Raylani. Hi, Raylani. I'm Say, Santa Claus. hi, Santa. Claus. This is your first year getting to meet Santa. You've never met me before? No, she has not. Have you heard stories about me, Raylani? Yes, you she have. Has. So you know that I'm going to bring you a toy on Christmas? If you behave. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Raylani, have you read any books about me and my friends or seen any movies about me and my friends? Yes. And which one's your favorite? See, we watch the Mickey Santa special. Mickey Santa she special. Loves Mickey. Am, am I nice to Mickey in that you one? Sure are. Yes, yes. yes. Me, me and Mickey are really good friends. Yes, you, and, she, and she loves cookies just like you. you are, I love cookies, yes. Raylani. Yes. We'll leave some out for Santa, right? What, Raylani, what do you want for Christmas? I think some more Mickey toys. Some more Mickey Mouse toys, just like, just like that one. one. <laughs> like right? my friend Mickey Mouse right That's here. Santa's name is Mickey. <laughs> K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> High five for Mickey. High five, High five for Mickey. Yay! <laughs> we'll put Mickey right back here. 
We just got to meet Santa Claus. I don't know who was more excited, me or Raylani, but he was so, so sweet. We had the best interaction, the sweetest Santa Claus I've ever encountered in my life. So we got to take some pictures. She actually got a picture by herself with Santa. She behaved really well. And at the end of her visit with Santa, she got a little candy cane and she is not letting it go. So if you guys do stop by the Redwood Creek area, that's quite the tongue twister, make sure that you stop and meet with Santa and get your pictures taken. Okay, so another big thing that you guys got to do here at Disney California Adventure for the Christmas time is see the Season of Light World of Color show. We're gonna be going live soon to be showing you guys that, so make sure if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel as we will go ahead and go live multiple times throughout this holiday season and show you guys what that show is all about. But again, you can't go wrong with World of Color and especially during the Christmas time, they can put on a show. So make sure you guys check this out, whether it's just you, your family, or your friends. It's a really good show and always a good time for World of Color. So right across from Ariel's, we're gonna find ourselves the Festival of Holidays main stage. And let us tell you guys, during the holiday time, there are some incredible artists that come play and it's definitely a nice spot for you guys to be able to sit down or even stand up, jam out, and enjoy the music. So here we have the pork wonton nachos. These can be found at Lucky Fortune Cookery in Pacific Wharf. Um, they look pretty spicy, I'm not gonna lie, but I am excited to try it. So here's to my first bite. Mm. Quite a bit of flavor in that meat, um, the pork meat there. Definitely has a kick, but I would highly, highly recommend this to anybody to try if you can handle the heat. Mmm. Yeah, those are delicious. So a lot of flavors happening here. I like the creaminess of the actual drizzle that's on here. I personally love all the jalapenos and stuff. So it makes this dish really good. It is pretty spicy, if I were to say. Um, but again, I think they put plenty of the meat on here. It is really good, very flavorful. It is a little bit spicy, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, in my opinion, I would probably give this like a 9 or a 10. It's really, really delicious. And if you guys like spicy things or you like all of these different flavors, this would definitely be something you want to pick up. And then we got Raylani, a little kid's pop. So she's eating her applesauce at the moment. Mm -hmm. She really likes it. Another item that we got from the Lucky Fortune Cookery is the Thai tea boba. And it looks like it has some whipped cream on there to give it a good mix. Very delicious. The boba is perfect. It's not too hard or too over chewy. It's nice and soft. For being a boba at Disneyland, I would actually give this a 9 out of 10. It's actually really delicious. Dude, I feel like this is probably the best boba I've ever had, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, this is good. So, like Nicole pointed out, the boba is perfect. The Thai tea and like the cream and stuff is A1. It is really, really delicious. I would like to try and get that whipped cream a little bit more, um, I guess, mixed in there, but this is, honestly, I'm not even kidding, it's probably the best bubble I've ever had. Really good. All right, guys, so that is the video. Guys, let us know in the comment section down below if you're gonna be coming to Disney California Adventure Park for the holidays. We would love to hear. But with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>